What's up Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news and merch reviews. And today I have a new box from my proxy of some stuff that I got from the Sailor Moon store. I'm so excited about this box so I'm gonna go ahead and break into it and I will tell you about the different items that I got. If I know the pricing I'll put it down below as well as more information about where you can buy these items. I think most of these were pre-orders or they are not available anymore however you might get lucky some of them might still be available. But at least that way if you find any of these items on eBay or Mandurake or Mercari then you will know how much they cost originally. So let's see what is in the box. So first things first, I have some Otidamas or Tsum Tsums. Uh, this one is Sailor Pluto. I was not able to find her originally because she was sold out. However, they restocked her so I definitely wanted to get her even though she looks like a little sushi squat poop thing. I don't know. But they're cute. They're really soft and they're kind of adorable and they're easy to stack and easy to collect and display. So I got Sailor Pluto. Sailor Star Healer, another one that I was not able to get until it came back in stock, so I made sure to get one of them. Yay, Sailor Star Healer. So happy I was able to find this one. And then I got the new series. So this one features Princess Serenity, Prince Endymion, uh, Luna as a human Luna, and then it has Black Lady. So I'll start with Princess Serenity. This one is really cute. So Princess Serenity has her cute little hair pieces in her hair. She has a little crescent moon on her forehead. Her dress is printed on, however the back of it has a cute little bow that is sewn on. Her dress is long enough that it covers her feet, but you can see little feet underneath, which is really adorable. Prince Endymion has a cape, which is sewn on on the back, and that does have the red underneath, which is perfectly accurate. He also has a little sword which is sewn on at the bottom and a little belt sash too for the sword. Um, I really like his pattern. He looks really cute. Very handsome little Otadama, if Otadamas could be handsome. Human Luna has a shorter skirt so you can see her feet pretty easily. Uh, she has the crescent moon necklace which is uh, basically printed onto the fabric along with the little pom-poms that are on her dress. Her hair is the accurate color. She has the crescent moon on her forehead. Very, very cute. And then we have Black Lady with her little triangle odangos up at the top, her black crescent moon on her forehead, and then on the back she does have a pink sash that goes around her. Oh my goodness, those are so freaking cute. Where's my knife? There we go. Okay. So this is a Sailor Moon Cleaner mascot. I think that it's a simple chain item, a charm that you can put on things. Oh, I see how it works. So the bottom of it is microfiber, which is really nice, so you can use it to clean things. The top of it features Sailor Moon's uh, cute little fuku with her bow, and then there's this nice lace and palm material around the edges. It is a pretty cushy little cleaner thing. It has a little headphone port that you can slide into your headphone jack, however, no phones have headphone jacks anymore, so I can't really use that, uh, but it does look really cute. It's something that I would definitely put on like a keychain or stick it on my purse or something like that. These are my very first Sailor Moon store Cupies. So Cupies are basically little mascots. They're little keychain items that you can purchase. These feature a manga version of Sailor Moon and they also feature tuxedo mask. So Sailor Moon has white hair and she has her mask as opposed to the anime version where she has blonde hair, uh, which is kind of cool. It's kind of original for the character and Tuxedo Mask looks super cute in his little keychain version. I got some more stickers to use. I got Sailor Moon with her Cosmic Heart brooch as well as her classic brooch. These are so pretty. This heart keychain, which I think I might already own, <laughs> which happens sometimes when you buy things overseas and you forget what you purchase, uh, but this features some classic art of Sailor Moon. It's a really big acrylic keychain and it does come with a postcard on the back too, which is very very cute. Something I was definitely looking forward to and I can't wait to start using this is the 2020 schedule book. So this one is very pretty. I can't wait to open this. Let's check it out. All right, so on the front of it, I chose the version that has Sailor Moon as Princess Serenity on the front of it. And it says schedule book 2020, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. And it features this really pretty prism print. 
It says, Endymion, I love you, you are my first love, and the only love for me is you. Very cute. The back of it does not have the prism stars like the front of it does. The calendar features uh, from, oh, I can start using this already. So it starts in October and it goes all the way through December of 2020. There's also a note taking section at the back that features each of the Sailor Senshi and there's a whole bunch of extra paper too as well as addresses, there's a map, there's the, probably the Tokyo, yeah, I think that's Tokyo subway station, and the Tokyo railway map, and some personal reminder info at the back of this little planner. This is a very pretty planner, but I'm not sure if I wanna use this one or wait until I get the much larger version that has a bunch of areas that you can actually write things out in it. They always come out with a new zipper planner each year, and I pre-ordered the one that's just available for uh, Pretty Guardian members, so I'll be reviewing that too when it comes. Let me know if you want a separate video of me flipping through this. I'd be happy to show you more information about this planner, just in case you're interested. I know that it's still in stock all over the place, so it is available quite widely. And there's a few different versions. If you don't like the front of this one, you could get like the Luna version instead. I think what's next is a couple of boxes. How do I open this box? Yay, it got here okay. It's not broken. I love it when boxes show up and they aren't broken. That's always a good thing. This box was also from the Sailor Moon store and it's just a little box to hold things. It's acrylic. It has a print of Sailor Moon on the top of it and it looks like it's kind of peeling off, but maybe I can stick it back down. So not super high quality since this, this print is actually coming up, which is kind of awkward, but it is locking, which is kind of cool. You press down on the button to open it to open that snap closure. And the front of it does have a print, which is actually printed on there of Sailor Moon with her wand and it says Sailor Moon. Pretty box, I like this. I'm gonna use it to display things, yay. This is a larger box. Let's find out what's inside, shall we? Oh shit, I'm dropping things. Oh, I'm dropping all the things. Okay, hold on, there we go, okay. So this is another little display box that you can use for, I, I like the idea of sticking like crafty materials in here, like little little knickknacks and things. But this is definitely not the same design as the other box since this one's more like, I don't know, it's childish I would say, uh, but it's got a pretty pastel pink color. On the side it says Sailor Moon with a silhouette of her on both sides. The top of it has a picture of classic Sailor Moon. The front of it features the same art print of Sailor Moon and it has this sparkly background for these transparent drawers. So there's three different drawers. The top one say Moonlight Fantasy. The other one has the Moonstick and Sailor Moon's other wand on there. And the bottom one has Sailor Moon and a bunch of wands and a bunch of brooches in the back. This is a Sailor Moon neck strap. So I can use this for like conventions and stuff like that. I go to a lot of conventions some of which do not provide neck straps. They just give you the little paper that says your name on it whenever you check in your badge. So this will be nice for conventions and stuff like that. It would also be nice for theme parks. I like the print on it. I like that it has Sailor Moon's bedspread print on it. Very cute. And it says 25th anniversary on the front of it as well, uh, which it's coming up on the 30th anniversary. So I think that'll be next year, right? So they're gonna have to do something new for that pretty soon. Now I guess it'll be a few years until the 30th anniversary, huh? Some additional goodies, which I think I might have already got. These were from Sailor Moon's birthday party over the summertime. I have a clear file. There's a matching gift bag, which are very, very pretty. This birthday party Sailor Moon towel, which features a manga version of a chibi Sailor Moon on the front of it, so cute. I also got this medium t-shirt, which is from the birthday party as well over the summertime, and this features a chibi Sailor Moon and a chibi Chibi Moon. This is a really pretty shirt that came from a previous collaboration, but they restocked it in the Sailor Moon store. They probably found extra inventory, so they put it back out on the market. So I was able to claim one for myself. It features a manga version of the newer art of Sailor Chibi Moon, and it's full art, so you can see head to toe of Chibi Moon on there, and it's on the front, which I also like. 
It's a ladies medium, so that should fit fairly well. And this is from the 20th anniversary Sailor Moon project. And lastly, I was able to claim a few different Sailor Moon clear files. So first off, I got this one from the Petite Estrange Sailor Moon musical. Hopefully I said that right. I don't know if I said it right, but this features the musical performers from that uh, from that version of the Sailor Moon musical. That clear file came with this beautiful print on a clear file of Princess Serenity and Prince Endymion. I was also able to get this clear file from Lave Movement Finale, which features these live players in that musical. That one came with this beautiful clear file featuring Eternal Sailor Moon. Gorgeous, gorgeous print. It also came with this one, which is a full color print of some original manga art by Naoko Takeuchi. So love it. And that is everything from my Sailor Moon haul from the Sailor Moon store. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to my proxies who were able to pick these things up for me and get them shipped out to me. Really appreciate it. I loved everything. I think everything in this haul was so freaking adorable and I can't wait to wear those new shirts and check out all the new goodies that I was able to get. I'll have another Sailor Moon store haul for you very soon because I am expecting another haul from my proxy to get shipped out over here. I know I have like some Taiwan goodies waiting for me, some Sailor Moon store goodies waiting for me. I have another thing coming from, from Japan. So there's a bunch of unboxings and reviews I'm going to be doing pretty soon. Let me know if you want me to review anything in particular from this haul and let me know what your favorite item was too. I always love to know and I love to get to know everybody who watches these videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Sailor Snubs. I'll see you next time. Jane.